So I'm here at the water couch in The Hague um, with Salamatu Gaba. And could I just have a look at your badge? If you just... Thank you very much. My name is Salamatu Gaba. Why are you here? What are you, what's, what are you doing here? What's your work here? Well, um, from the Women Farmers Advancement Network of Nigeria, and it's an opportunity for me to come and represent such women and to bring up issues affecting women and the rights of women in terms of water. Farm, farming around the world is under huge pressure all the time, but what, uh, what, what, are, what are the particular issues that, you, that women face in farming? Particularly women do most of the farming activities, you know, and women are voiceless in terms of something I call their profession, even though they don't see it that way. They don't have a voice, they cannot address their needs, and then when it's time to provide a solution, they are also not there. That's why the Women Farmers Advancement Network is there to build their capacity so they can advocate, reflect on issues that affect them, and try to provide a solution to it. WOFAN, as it is called, is partnering with the USAID in Nigeria to support the water project, and we are in four states of Nigeria now, and we are taking a lead role in access to water and sanitation programs in Nigeria. And one of uh, the things we have to showcase is where we have trained women to learn how to make non-functioning boreholes become functional because we have built their capacity. And because this is an issue that affects women, they have interest, it touches their heart. And in the Nas International Women's Day, women dismantled non-functioning boreholes, recoupled them, and they were able to make them functional again. And this is to say that when you carry women along, you can achieve results. But in most cases, you find that, that we don't listen. We come with issues that we already know, and it's also applicable to the farmers and the less privileged. You never give them an opportunity to tell you, where do you intervene? But in this particular pilot project, where women are trained to take a lead role, to construct slabs so that they have sanitation, very clean ones, so that they have toilets. Because our political leaders invest very little in sanitation. In some aspects, it's even a shame to talk about toilets or open defecation. So we're training women to trigger the act of taking the lead in issues like this. So uh, I assume this you, you hold events or gatherings and meetings with with groups of women and was how do you how do you organize people how do you help to develop their knowledge and understanding and skills of in, in these areas we have over 150 women groups in 20 850 women group a hundred and 100, 150 women's functional groups. ones yeah in 20s they take a lead in activities that concern them. They have their leaders, the president, secretary, and the treasurers. Now, problems don't cut across in a unified manner. Yeah. But one of the things we forget is when we come, we take such actions by saying 15% of this or 20% of this, forgetting that we are not all at the same level. So these groups that we have put together in 20s, they sit down in a participatory approach and understand the level that they are in, which is their problem. They now reflect on it, and then we come and support them in providing solution. Some are at the stage of capacity building. Some are at the stage of creating awareness some, some themselves. For instance, there are a group of women now that we have put together in a listener's club. We have given them radios and cassettes, and they've learned how to record record issues that affect them and they bring it to us because we run a 30 minutes radio program. Even in the last election where women in one particular section were denied voting because they were in a different political party from the men, 
What these women did was to record on radio and tell us right. what exactly they wanted, that when the next election is coming, they want their own vote separate from the one of men. Yeah. And by the time we aired it, it was uh, uh, um, approved, and that was what was done. Fantastic. So those are the kind of action that we want to see. We want to see women taking the lead in issues that affect them. Great. It's really good to meet you today. Thank and I, I hope much. this event goes very well for you. Really I, nice to meet you. Thank I've you very seen much. It's very nice. Thank Thanks you very a lot. Much. Thanks. Yeah.